Hi everyone, back again with me, a Magic Joe, and in this video, we will talk more about non-legendary units that I think worth to mention in order to progress your game in Sword of Convaloria. I have talked about the tanker role in the previous video, and now we're going to talk about the damage dealer that I think it's worth to mention from my point of view. I'll try to keep this video as short as possible by mentioning the key points of each characters and hopefully you might learn about them later in the game. And as usual, if you have any thoughts about these units or if you have any more units that is worth to mention, please share your thoughts and discuss about it on the comment section below. For now, let's jump to the main topic of this video. The first one is Red Falcon. She is a free seeker unit which we can get on our very first pool together with Mysa in the tutorial of the game. She would be effectively being used to counter berserker units in early PvE contents in the game. Her trait give her jump 1 and additional damage up to 30% if she attacks the enemy from side or back position. In addition to that, it also allows her to move again by 3 squares after she kills an enemy. You want to build her as a real assassin, where you can attack enemy from the back to deal more damage and hopefully could kill the enemy in one turn then retreat. She also has a reaction ability that could make her survive ability chance higher by avoiding one single attack which can be triggered once in every round if she got into dying state. Here is my recommended skill tree for Red Falcon. And I think she's a pretty solid unit that you can use for PvE or PvP contents, especially if you don't have call on your team. The next one is Divine Grace. He's a bow user unit with Watcher Roll, that means he's going to be a good damage dealer to kill pretty much destroyer units out there. His trait gives him increment in physical attack up to 15%, and if he has 3 or more buffs, he'll get an additional damage increase up to 35%. That what makes this unit is a really good damage dealer. As a range unit, he possess a big damage amplifier skill with a knockback which could be helpful to push enemy back 2 squares in order to make them fall to a pit or deal extra damage from knock them back to the structures or other units. His passive abilities grant him access to even more attack powers and increased damage to make him to deal more and more damage to the enemies. In addition to that, he also have another long range skill with 5 range that would deal more damage depends on how far his position is with the enemy with the maximum of 170% damage multiplier. That is so crazy. Some people might use his utility with explosive shooting to burn the tile and also using the light of shelter, which is an instant kill to increase the damage of him or other unit. Well, here is my recommendation to build him as a solely damage dealer unit. On to the last unit that I will discuss on this video. The last unit is Lush. I think she is one of most powerful damage dealer among the epic variety units that I would really recommend for PvP content. Based on how many stars she possess, her trait will allow her to do another attack for up to 30% of her total magic attack as piercing damage and starting on 2 stars, she also have give an extra healing for every heal that she does up to 20% of her magic attack. She is also known for a very flexible unit that can be used as damage dealer and single target healer. A strong point about Lash is because she has to skill with piercing damage, the piercing damage is the damage that could penetrate the defense of the enemy, but one of her weakness is when she's facing Watcher's unit, she would deal less damage on them. 
Here's a tip from me. If you ever have her on your account, you might want to put Wheel of Fortune on her Tarot Whisper slot because every time she gains the buff from it, the AoE damage buff and AoE heal buff, it will trigger her passive and make her even better damage dealer and healer. Here's my skill tree on how I build her as a flexible unit for damage dealer and healer. Well, those are the top 3 non-legendary damage dealer that caught my interest while I'm playing on Taiwan server. Hopefully, the information that I share in this video could be useful for your reference on building your team on global server. I apologize if I only could cover some of them due to my lack of experience with other units, but I'll try my best to share everything I know. And for the next one, I'll try to make a special video on some non-legendary match unit. Hopefully, you'll be looking forward to see it. And for now, that's it. See you on the next video, and take care. Bye now.